Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing another unboxing. I got a ton of stuff from Tarani, that's that one there, and a bunch of stuff from Nespresso. I'm running out of pods and I'm running out of syrups. So I ordered a bunch and I'm gonna unbox it today. So come along. Okay, so I have no idea what happened. My camera decided to go cuckoo and everything that I recorded didn't record. So I have to do it again. Anyways. I wanted to share with you guys the things that I purchased. Maybe you can see it. So I got a big order of Tarani syrup. I got vanilla and it's zero sugar. And I also got caramel and this is salted caramel, zero sugar. I tried this one. We tried this one when we went um, camping or glamping in our travel trailer this past weekend. It is divine. And there's no aftertaste either, which is great. Like nobody even complained that it was zero sugar. I don't even know if they noticed, but anyway, it was so good, you guys. I think this is my like top pick for now until I taste the vanilla. I seen really good uh, reviews about the vanilla, but the salted caramel even more. But I paid, I don't remember, so I'm gonna leave it here somewhere. I want to read the ingredients because this one's kind of new-ish. It's their zero sugar line. And I got four caramel, four vanilla. I really wanted um, French vanilla, but they didn't have French vanilla in zero sugar. So I just took what they had, which was just plain vanilla. Um, okay, ingredients for salted caramel. It says zero calories, zero sugar. Um, water, erythrol, inulin, salt, natural flavor, extract of oregano, flaxseed and plum to ensure freshness, stevia leaf extract, pectin, xanthan gum, citric acid, and then it says like star, adds trivial amount of sugar, which is weird because it says zero sugar, total sugars are zero, and added sugar is zero, but it says sugar alcohols are two grams. So again, if you're sensitive to sugar alcohols or you can't have it, sorry, you can't have salted caramel. You don't have to get another one. Okay, this is Pure Made Vanilla. It also says on both bottles, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, so that's great. Okay, vanilla has water, erythrol, natural flavors, stevia leaf extract, xanthan gum, citric acid, monk fruit extract, and salt. That's it. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. The colors are a little bit different. Like this caramel one is a little more cloudy than normal. And maybe a little more uh, watery. This one's a little more watery too. I don't care. This one's the bomb. We're going to see about the vanilla. And then I got these two bonus ones. So this black, toasted black sesame one is like brand new. Like I don't think I've ever seen it from any company to be honest. But it looked like this was like the new hot stuff of Tarani. And I had black sesame before. So before you knock it, I had black sesame ice cream um, a few years back. And it actually tastes like peanut butter. And it was delicious. So when I saw black sesame, I was like, heck yeah, I want a peanut butter like latte or something. I know I'm weird. I love peanut butter. So I got the black sesame. This one says no artificial preservatives, no artificial flavor, artificial flavors. So pure cane sugar, water, natural flavor, fruit juice for color, citric acid, paprika, oleo resin for color, anato extract for color. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. Okay, Tarani. And then this one is a regular sugar one, but I love pistachio. And I heard that the pistachio one, summertime, can make some bomb drinks. So I'm excited about that. Pure cane sugar, water, natural flavor, caramel, citric acid, salt, potassium sorbate to preserve freshness, sodium benzoate to preserve freshness as well, I guess. 19 grams of sugar that's a lot and then it says includes 19 grams added sugar so that's all added sugar 39 percent. okay looks like i'm gonna drink that once a year or something this one says 20 grams of sugar oh 
includes 20 grams added sugar, 40% per serving size is two tablespoons. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise, Tarani. Please make these in sugar free, please. I would love to try them. So yeah, this is all the Tarani stuff that I got. I was running out of syrup, so I needed more syrup. And then I also got Nespresso pods. Right now, I am down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pods. And it's like weird random ones, like the free stuff I got when I bought the coffee maker. So I have um, Intenso, which I heard bad stuff. Of. I heard really bad reviews about. Kind of scared to try it. I have Altizio. This is an, a single espresso. 1.35 ounce. Intenso is 7.7. .7, so it looks like Intenso is a coffee pod. And this one is a single espresso. Look how pretty it is though. Okay, I have Il Cafe. It's a... I don't know. It looks like a shot size. 1.35 ounce. Il Cafe. Espresso. It is espresso. This one's like a dark green. And then I have Stormio. I think I purchased this one with the free, like the $40, like, um, freebies I got from when I bought my machine. This is a coffee pot as well. Pretty color. Look at that. I have like three of these. And then I tried this one already. I really like it. Bianco Piccolo. Pretty brown. It says for use with milk or for milk. Milk makes it taste, oh my God. So divine. It is a single shot. And then there is Vivida. It has vitamin B12 in it. This one's pretty. Look at the color. This is a coffee pot as well. And then I have Espresso Voltesso. This looks like a single shot of espresso. This one's good too. Color is beautiful. Look at that. And then what I ordered. So I ordered a uh, two of each and then one decaf because sometimes I want to have coffee in the evening but I don't want to you know hinder my sleep <laughs> so I got two caramel cookie and this one says this is a coffee pod 7.77 .77 ounces it says why we love it baristas creations caramel cookie starts with a lightly roasted arabics arabics arabica from latin america and africa we add in a touch of caramel flavor and it gives the blend a buttery biscuit note that'll take you back to your childhood days how can you not how can you not want this <laughs> i read that and i was like okay i guess i need that one and this one is a barista creation so they have like a little category on the side where it says like barista creations and this was a part of it. It's a pretty um, orangey color. So I got two of these. And then I got two double espresso dolce. So this one is a, a, a lighter, more mild espresso versus like, for instance, double espresso Chiaro, where it's a little bit um, heavier coffee flavor. This one is lighter. So it says it's a five out of 11. Um, taste wise uh, it is a double espresso duh <laughs> dolce and this one says why we love it double espresso dolce embodies the sweet life mild and smooth a ugandan robusta balances out the sweet profile of the blends latin america arabicas with a delicious multi toasted cereal notes yeah i had this one before and this is probably my favorite yeah I want to say this is probably my favorite one I made my um, sugar brown sugar shaken espresso with this one oh, it's so good so this is like I said when you want to do like a latte a ice latte or a hot latte and you want it to be like on the lighter side coffee wise this is your jam this is the one that you want this pretty like creamy yellow Okay, and then I have double espresso Chiaro. This one is an 8 out of 11, uh, flavor-wise, flavor strength. It is a double espresso. Um, here it is. Why we love it. Double espresso Chiaro is a blend of Latin America Arabica coffees. An intense, short roast brings power without hiding those woody, earthy aromas. 
This Nespresso Virtual is the last course. Go ahead and finish your meal with a bang. I swear to God, whoever is making like this little blurbs, <laughs> it's genius because it, you just want to buy all of them by reading them. Okay, like a creamy brownish color. Okay, that's six. And then this is my favorite coffee. This is my favorite. This is Colombia. Okay, Colombia is, it's a five out of 11. It is a coffee pod. And it says, where is it? Where are you? This one doesn't have info. Hmm. Weird. Uh, the wash process with the twist, tweaking. I know this one is, oh, here. It says fruity and whiny notes. Washed Arabica coffee pod. This is my favorite. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I love wine. And so it just brings that. I don't know what it is, but this, this is my favorite coffee pod. Colombia. Look at that beautiful color. Okay, last one is the decaf. Like I said, sometimes I just want coffee at night, but I don't want to, I don't want my brain to be up while I'm trying to sleep. So I got decaf and sometimes my son will use it too. So I'll let him know like, okay, sir, use this one. It is a darker rose. So it's a nine out of 11. Um, it says it makes 1.35 ounces. Why we love it. When Altizio Decaffeinado walks in, you'll notice the full-bodied, bold espresso taste comes from blending Latin American Arabicas with Robusta. A Costa Rican Arabica adds a soft cereal note, all decaffeinated. The taste of the highly roasted Altizio Decaffeinado is true to the original, still cloaked in creamy royal robes. Seriously, Nespresso. <laughs> So yeah, I got two, four, six, eight, nine sleeves. When you buy from Nespresso, do not forget your freebie. They give you two with every order and you can try, I believe it's like eight to 10 you can choose from, but it's two, see, it's two pods. I have vanilla custard pie and caramel cookie. Why did I get caramel cookie? I already ordered, anyway. I have an extra one now and one, they're both coffee pods. Yeah. Vanilla custard pie says nice as pie, sweet and velvety. The classic vanilla flavor giving the base blend a silky smooth and creamy texture. Caramel cookie says a sweet memory, sweet and velvety. A luxurious coffee, a luxurious flavored coffee wins the warming taste of caramel. And like these are great, right? The flavored ones, but I don't know what it is about the Columbia. I just, I don't know. That one is just my favorite. And so I'm going to load it in my drawer that is now empty because I took all of my stuff out of it. Anybody have ideas on what you use to organize your espresso pots? I would love to know because I've been looking high and low and I keep mine in my drawer so it's not on my counter. But there's no like, here, I'll show you guys. So I just keep it in here and there's no like pretty way to keep it in here. But it's still, it's not pretty like that. So if anybody has a good idea of how I can um, organize it in the drawer, I'd love to know. Please leave it in the comments below. Um, I did buy this cute little topper for my counter. And then I got some decorations. So little upgrades here and there. And then my uh, syrups are gonna go in here. Those are my cups that I did on my last review. And then the rest of my cup stuff. So little by little. Also, last thing. How can I hide all of these ugly wires? What do you guys use to disguise this ugly black wires? Because I hate looking at them. So let me know down below what you guys use. Like if it's, you know, it's, I don't know, putting up decorations or something here. What do you use to cover the wires of your coffee maker? 
because this looks terrible and it bothers me. Good. Don't forget, don't leave your pods in here. Open it, make sure you drain it, like not drain it, but allow the pod to fall back there and don't let it sit in this area. That is recommended. Also, don't forget to clean it and don't forget to descale it. Okay, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got from Tarani and what I got from Nespresso. I'm super excited to try the caramel cookie and I'm so happy to have my Columbia back in my drawer. And also salted caramel, sugar-free is a winner. So I get mine from Tarani website and from Nespresso website. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was informational in some way. I hope I helped explain things better. And I hope you guys try the Tarani sugar-free and the pods that I enjoy drinking. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ahoy ho!